toys for us kids. They got a million toys of toys for us that I can play with. I don't want to grow up. I'm a toy just kid. They got the best for so much less. You really flip your lid. From bikes to trains to video games. It's the biggest toy store there is. She wins. I don't want to grow up. Because baby, if I did, I couldn't be a toys for us kids. More games, more toys. Oh, boy. I want to be a toys for us kids. They got a million toys at Toys R Us that I can play with. I don't want to grow up. I'm a Toys R Us kid. They got the best for so much less. You'll really flip your lid. From bikes to trains to video games. It's the biggest toy store there is. Gee whiz. I don't want to grow up. Because maybe if I did, I couldn't be a Toys R Us kid. Once a Toys R Us kid, always a Toys R Us kid. I don't want to grow up. Do I want to grow up? It was the biggest toy store in America. Well, the reason is that I am, have been to Toys R Us. I have been to Toys R Us is because they are closing. They are closing down behind me because last time I went to Toys R Us was, you know, purchasing Mega Man 3 for the NES. And when I purchased Mega Man 3 for the NES, I didn't purchase this Toys R Us. I purchased the Toys R Us at 163rd Street in in North Miami. This is the Hylia Toys R Us. Even though I've been there, I remember the Ferris wheel and all that stuff. But I remember now, the video game section is empty. It's almost empty. There were the cool toys. There was the Darth Vader toy and all that stuff. You know, like like the candy dispenser. But the thing is that Toys R Us. Toys R Us is going out of business. Like, it's going out of business in the U.S. You know, the thing is, there's good news. KB Toys is coming back. K this Toys R Us might be turned into a KB Toy Store. But KB Toys is coming back because... Because of the... Because of, you know, they have saying, like, they're going to revive... A small company is going to revive KB Toys. You know, KB Toy Store... I remember that it's the, it's the toy store that you could go in the malls and stuff, right? You know, I actually live like I'm saying that this Toys R Us behind me is is one of them that are going to have in liquidation. And they said they could have information of liquidation and all that stuff. Now I'm walking in there and then this is why I think about it for about Toys R Us. You know, Toys R Us, it says behind me in there. I don't know if you see the light. Toys R Us was once the biggest toy store in the U.S. There's a, a bit of this. It is commission, commission, commission. These locations, the U.S. locations, would be closed down. But I could tell you what. I could tell you about what. What, what is it about Toys R Us? You know about Toys R Us, even though am I saying, am I saying Toys R Us right there behind me? I mean Toys R Us are going to have saying they said that Toys R Us, the Canadian operations, is going to be bought by um, MGA, whatever it is. But a small, but there's a small company here in the United States. Uh, merchants LLC they're gonna like revive KB toys and you know get and they're like they're gonna know how to do marketing Toys R Us were smart in their marketing and smart with their commercials from bicycle trains I want to be a Toys R Us kid I remember that I remember that back in 1985 or 1986 when I stepped in foot in the Toys R Us right but now like Toys R Us is closing down their stores in the US 
And then after Toys R Us will close their doors in the U.S., to close their stores in the U.S., there'll be no more Toys R Us. Toys R Us are, is going to be gone. It's going to be out of business. In the United States, they're going to close their, op their U.S. operations, their American operations. And then the Canadian branch, oh, most likely, I seen YouTube. Uh, I seen a YouTube video about Toys R. I, it makes me cry. I seen Toys R Us, a Toys R Us store in Japan. You know, this is where it is that you know. I'm wearing a Miami Heat hat. You know, I'm in Miami, Florida. I'm in Hialeah actually. Toys R Us in Japan is like I seen all these toys, and that makes me cry. The Jap, you know, like when Toys R Us leaves the U.S. No, the kids in the U.S. and the Japanese kids are going to be exciting to see Toys R Us. You know, imagine like the Japanese kids are enjoying Toys R Us because Toys R Us is going to be there in Japan. And if Toys R Us be, is going to be there in Japan, well, it's going to be like the company that, that might build, buy Toys R Us. You know, Sumitomo, a Japanese company, might look to find global operations, but most likely, most likely, the, that a Japanese company might buy the global operation of Toys R Us will be 7i, or in other words, 7-Eleven. All right, 7-Eleven is going to control the operation of Toys R Us because 7-Eleven is a big company. They have not just 7-Eleven stores in Japan, but they have. They have 7-Eleven, they have 7 I Holdings, 7 Bank, and and these and all these stores what 7 and I has. In other words, the Canadian operation is going to be, uh, you know, controlled by 7-Eleven Canada. 7-Eleven of Canada will take the Canadian operations of Toys R Us. You know, 7-Eleven might take everything, you know. 7-Eleven, like the day that 7-Eleven takes the global operations of Toys R Us, you know, 7-Eleven of Canada would be like... They're gonna control Toys R Us in Canada, 7-Eleven of Canada. You know, seven uh, like to, there's a, like a Planet Fitness. 7-Eleven of Canada would take um, all the all the auctions from several from Toys R Us, the U.S. operations, and then it goes to Seven and I, like a parent company of 7-Eleven, would have all the commissions from 7-Eleven from the Toys R Us stores in Canada. You know. It's under operating on 7-Eleven of Canada. 7-Eleven? I mean, in Japan, Toys R Us would be get bought by 7-Eleven. And then, like, all the global operations is going to be bought by 7 and I store, the parent company of 7-Eleven. In other words, 7-Eleven is going to be owned Toys R Us. Even though the British operations of 7-Eleven... I mean, I mean, sorry, not 7-Eleven. The British operations of Toys R Us... Is going to return. 7-Eleven might get Toys R Us, but but the British operation of Toys R Us, you know, is gonna return. They're gonna reopen the British operations, even though the the UK the the British operation of Toys R Us. I'm gonna walk there. The British operations of Toys R Us are going to set up by the British operation of Toys R Us is gonna set by the uh, set by like 7-Eleven. Of Britain, or you know, like I mean, like the like like it's going to return because once 7-Eleven, the Seven and I Holdings takes commission, take all the global operation of Toys R Us. Toys R Us will return in Britain, but not in the United States. Even though, like, we are going to know that 7-Eleven is going to own Toys R Us. Yeah, it, I don't know how it is. That I don't want to grow up. I want to be a Toys R Us, R Us kid in Japanese, but it's going to be better off for 7 Eleven. 7 Eleven taking the global operations of Toys R Us, you know, 7 and I holding these operations, you know, 7 Eleven. I mean, once and for all, once KB, once the Toys R Us behind me becomes a KB Toys. You know, like 7-Eleven would control the global operations of Toys R Us, or no, like 7 and I Holdings. Like, once for all, thanks for subscribing. Please 
support me on Patreon because I need your support on Patreon. Once you see this, see this video, you know it's gonna be over. You know we we're gonna miss Toys R Us, everything like in the U.S. In the U.S., people in Canada, people in Canada and in other countries, even in Japan, Japan, people in Japan, seven. I mean. Toys R Us is going to be a national chain because it's no longer an American company. 7, uh, seven and I Holdings, 7-Eleven is going to buy Toys R Us. The Canadian operations is going to be all set up by 7-Eleven of Canada. You know, that's the reason why 7-Eleven is going to be the owner of Toys R Us and we're going to left out with KB Toys. You know, the KB Toys, you know, is cheaper than Toys R Us. And even though they're gonna take all the auction of Toys R Us in the U.S. in the United States, they might get stores of Toys R Us. But the only the only thing that was gonna be surprised that Amazon might take my own FAO Schwartz. FAO Schwartz is one of the biggest toy stores, one of the oldest toy stores in New York City, right? But then when they get the operation of FAO Schwartz. All the toys bought by Amazon is going to come from the FAO Schwartz toy store in New York City. That's it. All the toys from Amazon, you know, like FAO Schwartz, the toy store is going to still be open in New York City. But then we're going to have KB Toys, but you know, yeah, like FAO Schwartz is going to be owned by Amazon. You know. We're going to have KB Toys all, uh, all over America, all over the United States. F, uh, and then, uh, like after that, like that, like KB Toys is going to do the same thing of e-commerce, even keeping the toys are open. Amazon might, might will only have FAO Schwartz in New York. Yeah, the like F, like Amazon, all the warehouse, all the toys being bought by FA by Amazon is going to come from FAO Schwartz in New York. FAO Schwartz in New York is going to be like a warehouse. You're going to see like Amazon vehicles next to the FAO Schwartz in New York in Ma in in Manhattan in New York City right and they says like there's an FAO why does Amazon You're like FAO Schwartz got Amazon that means you don't have to go to New York to buy the toys on FAO Schwartz you're going to Amazon pretty soon if, if, if Amazon bought FAO Schwartz you go to Amazon that pretty soon you're going to FAO Schwartz you're buying your toys from New York City not even going to New York City so that's it for my video please sub please subscribe to my channel and I will need your subscription just remember folks once 7-eleven takes Toys R Us bet you people in the outside the United States 7-eleven owns Toys R Us pretty soon we may not have we ain't, ain't gonna have Toys R Us in America. We're gonna stay with KB Toys and FAO Schwartz. Goodbye, goodbye, and peace out. I wanna be a Toys R Us kid. Hello. That's my, that's the jingle. We know it is smart marketing, but they did some stupid decisions and not focusing on e-commerce. Bye.